So I just dropped my first ebook, giving you all the tools that I use to break down film under the attention to detail microscope. Not to mention it comes with an exclusive members area where I'll post supplementary teaching videos taking you with me as I break down film to help you learn. It's great for coaches, players, all the way to the casual fan. Start seeing basketball on a new level today. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys five moves that you can use to get a shot off at pretty much any time. But just note that this isn't magic. Notice I said that it'll get you open. You'll be able to get a shot off. Not that you'll always score off of it because these can be very, very tough shots. So I wouldn't suggest that you go up there and immediately start jacking these up. But with dedication to add these one at a time to your bag, you'll be able to turn these into makeable shots in a game. So we'll go from simple to most complicated. First one I got for you is a freeze move from a triple threat. This isn't the prettiest and won't get you oohs and ahs, but it'll get you open. And that's what matters, right? So the basis of this is getting the defender on their heels with a simple jab step. Right here, he's frozen, right? Obviously he can move, but he's not in a position to contest. And when someone does this move to you effectively, you'll feel exactly what I'm talking about. So the first key is to really sell that jab on all of these. Watch how they're dropping their center of mass, but using their shoulders and midsections to sell the drive. And even swinging that ball violently. This may put you in a weird position though. You'll have a wide base and you're not really in a shooting position. So the key right here is quickly getting that foot under you and going straight up into the shot without any energy leakage. This will really help that shot feel in rhythm rather than awkward. The next one is a freeze move off the dribble. So I define this pretty much as any shot where you shoot from a position that's not expected. Sounds very broad, I know, but bear with me. You'll get the point when I show some clips. So the big key for me is if you have in your mind that you want to shoot the rock, you're going to want to stay close to a shooting position. So keeping your hand close to the ball. Your feet under you and relatively ready to pop up into that shot. And after that, it's pretty much about getting that ball quickly and efficiently into your shot pocket and up into your shot without rushing too much. So I'll give you two ways to sell this move. The first one is with a very well exaggerated speed and height change. Watch here how Booker is standing straight up, slowly dribbling. You wouldn't expect a shot to be coming. And next thing you know, it's up in the air. Same thing for Chris Paul here. Be as unexpected as possible. The next way is to give them sort of a forward move to get them on their heels, just like the last move. This will really freeze them and allow you a little bit more time to get into your shot. Next is a footwork jumper, or as you guys may know it, a hezzy jumper. So I'll start off with the footwork since you're probably wondering where that name came from. The big thing for me when I'm teaching this move is a hard push off that back foot. This is gonna make that stride towards the defender longer and more powerful, which will naturally get them on their heels moving backwards. Even if it's more of a lazy one like right here to get rhythm, that back foot push is gonna serve the same purpose. Regardless of the speed, when you take that stride, you wanna raise up and then lower your center of mass to get rhythm into that shot. Again, right here, he raises up, drops down, and then pops up into the shot. Another thing I like to see is both feet coming off the ground at some point. This really lets you powerfully split those feet, getting the back foot to push off and the front foot striding forward. And lastly, although everyone does it differently, I like to teach some players a shoulder rock to sell that drive like Mitchell does here. Dropping that inside shoulder really helps sell that drive and put the defender on their heels. Next is the pound side step or step back, a move that's become very popular in recent years. To me, the idea of this move is to stun the defender to buy time getting into your shot. So you'll notice on every one of these, that front foot will be moved forward explosively as they plant. That simple movement towards the defender is aimed at getting them on their heels, which once again is basically freezing them. That's not the hard part here though, but where the error will come in is getting on balance after the move. The key here to me is staying in a low position with your knees and hips flexed and torso upright. That will really help you take a large step, but also stay balanced as you separate from your defender. The last thing I wanna mention is a speed change. Just like every move I've taught so far in this video, this can really come in handy in stunning that defender. And the most difficult move I'll include is the misdirection separation. This is pretty much just a forward move, generally between the legs, to get the defender moving backwards once again, and then using that move to separate backwards. 
Again, the move normally takes care of itself if you make a hard explosive move forward or even a crisp one like D'Lo makes here to get the defender moving backwards. The key is being able to convert that energy from moving backwards to straight up in the air for that jumper. If you're able to do that, you've made this shot a lot easier. So like I said, try these out. Don't necessarily go out there and start shooting them immediately, but build up to them and make sure that you're adding them into your game properly. Let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching and add me on Instagram at by any means basketball for a lot more.